everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working on the chicken coop back behind the house. What we've got going on here is I'm drying a bunch of boards that were just cut yesterday. This is a pretty good drying location, as long as it doesn't rain. Obviously, if it rains, they're under the drip edge of the roof, but as long as it doesn't rain, it's uh, pretty good. Uh, we also get reflected heat off the, the house to kind of get them drying out. But it is hot and it is humid out today. So drying, you know, the heat helps with the drying, but the humidity... Uh, Man, it's got a, it feels like it's almost like 100% humidity uh, out here. Obviously not 100%, but very close to it. Let's go back and we'll see the state of things. Uh, what I was working on yesterday was uh, getting another layer of concrete on the bottom of the, the chicken coop floor. Uh, if you recall from earlier, I wasn't too, too pleased with how it came out. I mean, it would have been totally serviceable for a chicken coop floor, but I thought I could probably do a little bit of a better job of it if I gave myself another crack. And that's pretty accurate, a little bit of a better job. Uh, so this is the, the second layer that I put on. At its thinnest, it was about a centimeter. At its thickest, it was maybe almost a couple of inches. It was really thin up over here, thicker over here. What I, was, what I did when I was doing it initially is I was kind of pulling the stuff back with the, the board as I was smoothing it, and I ended up kind of mounding it over there. So what I did uh, yesterday is I, I just made a a horizontal line in pencil uh, using a bubble level all along the uh, the wall and I just aimed for uh, getting the level of the floor to be just about a half an inch underneath that level. The reason I didn't want to go to the, that level line is if you got the, the floor coming up and you just go over it you don't know whether you just buried it or whether you're like a, a good half an inch or an inch over it. So I was aiming for being underneath the line so I'd always be able to see the line. And the floor, it is definitely better than it was the first time, but um, you know, this is one of those things. Uh, you, can, you can trust me to do a good job on a lot of different building projects, but uh, making clean and level floors is not yet one of them. This is the, only, you know, this is the first time I've ever tried it and I have uh, uh, none of the right tools and um, not really any knowledge about how to do it other than having watched a couple people do it a couple times. So, you know, it's okay. Uh, and I guess if it had been more critical that it was totally flat, I would have uh, done my homework a little bit more. Uh, but, you know, even that said, it, it was difficult because as, you know, you're moving across, you can't step on your own work. I feel like if I had, like, a jetpack and I could have hovered over it, I could have done a really nice job. But, uh, you know, that, that was the challenge for me is, uh, you know, trying to work on an area and not mess it up as you move to other areas. So, anyway, long story short, it's, it's okay. Uh, better than it was before. So, uh, you know, we're sticking with it. And uh, today what I'm working on is putting more uh, roofing boards up on the top over here, uh, you know, that we have drying out on the, the front of the house. I think they're eight foot one. I gotta double check that. I'm gonna start cutting them to length. Uh, and the, the reason I want them dry when they go up is because they do shrink a little uh, and I wanted to get them as dry as they possibly can be so I don't nail them up and then they shrink and make uh, little cracks. So far, these guys are not really showing a lot of signs of uh, shrinking that way. So, uh, you know, so far so good with that. Um, it seems like the white pine does dry pretty quickly uh, when you have it in really hot sun. But, uh, you know, like I said today, the humidity is so high, I'm not sure how much moisture is really going to come out of them. But uh, all the rest of the week is just rain, 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 rain. So, you know, you got to take advantage of the days that aren't raining when they happen. That's it. Thanks for watching.